Chem students, Ben Asman here. Day two of the Aldol reaction. Let's get to it. Day two of the aldol reaction is actually the haloform reaction. It starts off quite similar to the aldol reaction with the deprotonation of an alpha carbon, leading to a nucleophilic carboanion, which can attack an electrophilic halide like chlorine. You notice that after this happens, it creates a new dipole moment. This pulls even more electron density away from the alpha carbon, stabilizing any further carboanions that would be generated there. In order to form this positively charged electrophilic chlorine, today we'll be using sodium hypochlorite, or bleach. This also generates a necessary base in order to deprotonate the alpha carbon. Please note this makes ionic aqueous chlorine, not chlorine gas. You would notice if you made chlorine gas. It's yellowish green, has a terrible smell, and you would be a lot more dead. The general form for the reaction today will use the product of part B of last week. This will undergo the haloform reaction using bleach to give you your final product C. Now this isn't for everyone, but if you have yet to do so, or your product hasn't completely evaporated since last lab, boil off the solvent using a boiling chip. This, your product B, should be a thick orange or yellowish oil. If it's still warm, cool it down before you start your reaction. Your solvents for this reaction are methanol and the water which is in the 8% sodium hypochlorite solution. Make sure you add the sodium hypochlorite in several small portions and check to see if it's warming up. If the solution is warming up, cool it down in a water bath. After the 15 minute wait period, add a little bit of the regular acetone to kill any leftover unreacted bleach. Place the solution into a separatory funnel, add saturated sodium chloride and dichloromethane. Cap, shake, release the gas, and remember the dichloromethane is denser than water so it will be at the bottom. Remove the dichloromethane, add new dichloromethane, and repeat this a grand total of three times. By the third time you'd expect the organic phase to be much lighter all three organic extracts are going to be trash this time because we're actually going to keep the aqueous phase. Next step is acidification with 12 more hydrochloric acid. Make sure you check as you're going through with pH paper that you are in fact getting it to be acidic. After this, you're going to heat it up to the point of boiling. You're actually going to try and get everything to dissolve. This is going to be a recrystallization. If your solution is boiling and you still have some solids, this probably means that you have some impurities. You can filter out any of those big pieces or you can just move on. Let this cool to room temperature on several pieces of paper towel, and then put it in an ice bath. Once it's cold and crystallized, you can vacuum filter it. I recommend using the Hirsch funnel, that's a little ceramic one. This takes a little bit of time, but in the end you end up with a white or yellowish powder. Now normally we would be done here, but we still have some chemical tests left to do on A, B, and C. The three chemical tests that we are going to be doing are potassium permanganate, which can show you alkenes and alkynes, the brown positive test result is on the left, and the negative purple test result is on the right, DMP, which can show you aldehydes and ketones, the orange precipitate positive test result is on the left, and the negative lac precipitate is on the right, and bicarbonate, which can show you sulfonines, carboxylic acid, Acids, ammoniums, and really any other acidic proton. Here, once again, the negative test result will be on the right. You'll see no bubbles evolve from the solution as the bicarbonate is added. Then on the left-hand side, you'll see the positive test result where you see the bicarbonate reacting with the solution to give you bubbles. Once you have all the test results, tabulate them in a table like you see here. Put an X for every negative result and a check mark for every positive result. And that's it. You're done for today.